Hey everybody, I'm doing something a little bit different today. Um, if you saw the first video I did out here on all this, uh, when we got way back in the back, there was all those uh, catfish. And so I thought it was a nice day, it's warm. Um, I got my bow and I just packed really light because I'm probably gonna be doing more bow fishing than anything. I did bring one rod and a little tackle bag. Uh, so, I'm going to put the camera on the kayak and we'll go back that way. I'll see if I can pick up the bass or something on the way out there. But if not, we're going to float that really shallow area where all those catfish were and see if we can't pick us off some. So, stay tuned. here so where we're going it's right there that's where they were all laying in there last time I was here hopefully they're still there so I'm gonna put you on my head I got the head mount cam back out I figured that'd be the best and hopefully we'll be able to you'll be able to see them because this water is relatively clear so uh, hopefully you'll be able to see them and we can we can pop a few of them so let's get to it There's one, I think. I forgot I put the knot in there. Missed him. I wonder how far they run off.
Now the really fun part is getting them off. Big ol' ugly thing. Did you knock my bow in the water? catfish and these little things will mess you up Let's see if we can't get another one they really muddy this water up really fast There's one way over there. It's a long shot. Shot over him. And a hook tree. Back on it. I'm gonna have to put the uh drive up and paddle back there because it's shallow I miss him. Man. Wait, wait, wait. I think that's one. Man, they blend in good. And these are some big boys, too. Yeah. I think that's one. I think, I think, I think. Pretty sure. Right here.
So rest is what throws it off balance. <clears throat> I think that's one. I think. Oh, missed him. Two, two here. And I totally, totally missed him. Like 100% that was my fault. The wind obviously is not going to be working in my favor now. Uh, I think that's one. I right hear. Oh yeah, it was. I made too much noise. A big one. I think that's another one right there. Yeah. Jesus, these things are ugly. starting to pick up a little bit blow me around faster than what I want to go so um, I think I'm gonna go fish over here a little bit just to see if I can't pick something up I think I'm gonna leave them catfish alone for a while I shot four of them so uh, save some for another day and uh, we'll come back out here and do it again so uh, yeah going that way hey folks hope you all enjoyed that little bow fishing video it was something different um, those catfish, they call them plecos, 
Um, they are not native to the waters here. Um, I used to see them a lot in Florida and here in Texas where the warm waters are. Uh, they're algae eaters. Um, I believe they're from South America, uh, but a lot of people get them for their aquariums. And they would put them in the aquariums and they would keep it clean. But when people would want to get rid of their fish in their aquariums, they would go just dump them in the rivers or the bayous or whatever near their house. And that's one of the ways these fish got established out here. And because they are a sucker catfish, they eat a lot of the algae and stuff in the water, which is basically your, your baseline. Everything eats algae. So these guys are eating the food that is going to sustain the next generation and next generation of our native fish after they spawn. Um, they have no natural predators here. Nothing really eats them. I mean, their they're outside of their body is basically like bone and, and with, with sharp edges on it. So nothing is really here that can keep them in check. So it's up to us and the fishermen and the bow fishermen and stuff to try to go out and really do population control. I know uh, Texas Department of, of Wildlife and stuff has a lot of things they're doing to try to get the population down. So um, anyway, if you see them out there, shoot them or, or net them or whatever. Get them out of the water, throw them on the bank. Uh, you know, we need to get as many of these things out of the water as we can. So appreciate y'all watching. Um, hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, like and subscribe and, and all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you next video. Bye.